What is up everyone? It's your boy Jay Semp and we're back here day uh well I don't know it's been so many days of quarantine I don't even know what's happening anymore. But today I thought I would do something uh a little desperate. We're gonna paint on a pizza box. Boom 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 cha. I'm running out of things to paint on. I ordered pizza. Shout out to uh, Allegro. What I want to do is I just want to start painting on random things because I don't really feel like going out and getting stuff. Plus, you know, I got food with this canvas, so, you know, that's a win-win. And canvases are expensive, so why not turn this into an art piece? And it's got the borders. It's just, it's literally a canvas. This was asking to be painted on. So, let's get... We're just gonna hop right into it. The only thing I'm gonna, I'm just gonna straight paint. The only thing I'm gonna do is do this so I have an idea of where the center is. That's always good. Again, with this piece, I don't really know what I wanna do, but I'm thinking of like a face kind of being all symmetrical and stuff like that. So that is exactly what I'm planning on doing. How will it turn out? Who knows? We're working with acrylic paint, so it's gonna be all, all layered and good stuff like that. So we're just gonna start. I didn't want to paint it all white first because I don't know, I kind of like the idea of doing it directly, directly on the the box. Yeah, it looks very messy right now, but I'm just trying to get the, the paint laid down. I want the mouth to be open and then have an eye in it. Yeah, I really don't know what I'm doing. I haven't painted with acrylics in a long time. I just haven't painted in a long time. The laptop piece that I did, I, that was all with markers and stuff, so I wouldn't consider that, would not consider that painting. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of a highlight along the edge of this cheekbone here, just at the very tip to give a sense of depth. First, I actually wanna add the color to these eyes using using this paint. Hmm, which one should be pink? Oh, I'm gonna do the other one turquoise. What is this one pink? Yep, that is certifiably cool in color. That looks pretty dope. But it's a give-take process. A little shadow, a little highlight. Little shadow, a little highlight. Ooh, what if we blend it out? The entirety of... Ha! Now this is going to be really weird. But this is called the creative process, doing weird stuff. This dude is getting Thanos snapped out of existence. I'm going to take this to the spot that I want it to be at. So, we're going to come in with some colored pencils. I like mixing colored pencils and different mediums together because I feel like you can get a much more defined result. And I'm really happy with the base that we came up with here. But it's definitely far from finished. Jordan, why are you wearing different clothes? Funny you ask. It's a different day. I took some time to evaluate what I want to do with this. And I came up with a cool idea. We are going to incorporate some gold. The thing with this piece is that the skin tone, the base of the skin tone for this person is a neutral gray, which is like a 50% gray in between black and white. And that makes it very difficult to have a background that's also desaturated background, like a black and white background. This behind the head halo rather than like a actual ring around the head has always been a, something that has intrigued me because it helps pop that face. Now, one of the first things that I'm going to do is actually come over this part in white. I don't want any of this to show through and it's gonna show through if I don't have a layer of acrylic on it. So we want it to be a flush thing going over the border. I got rid of the collar. I realized I don't want a collar I want it to be a regular shirt and I want the lining of the shirt to have a band that looks like this part here. I'm going to mix some colors, some black and white on a, on a paper on a on a palette um, or a bowl or paper plate whatever I have um, to come off with a nice cool um, light gray and apply that here and here. I don't have my mic situation set up yet, even though I do have a microphone. I need to use that in future videos. I'll learn how to do that at some point during this quarantine. We're in the final stages of this piece, so close to being done. Well, 
I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was a little bit of a weird one, but I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, I'm hoping it inspired you guys to get creative with things that are in and around your house. You don't need to have all the perfect things like a canvas to create. You can work with what you got. So if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. If you're feeling, feeling nice, gently tap that like button. And um, yeah, stay healthy, stay happy, stay doing art. Deuces. <laughs>